Yeah, we hung out and had fun, but did I want to be in a long distance relationship with you afterwards? No, and that should be okay with you. That freaking sucks. That, that freaking sucks. We've all been there. A bad breakup, a couple bad breakups. Maybe if you're a special kind of human, you've had a lot of a couple bad breakups. You hate to experience it, but you love to see it. Breakups, my friends, can sometimes be entertaining. There's only one thing funnier than a crumbling relationship, and that's a relationship going up into flames. But like when I think going up into flames, I think completely forest fire, it's all ending. Breakups are hard, but not laughing at them is even harder. Personal opinion, um, sorry if I hurt anyone's feelings. Do you have any breakup texts? Actually, I don't. I deleted them all. I deleted them. What the heck are you doing here then? No breakup text. Get out! That shit was fun, but maybe I should let you focus on school. She said, okay, haha, I don't want you getting bored of me fast. That's what she said, like, I get bored fast, like, oh, yo. I'm like, okay. And then we ended it there. I'm like, okay. And then marriage is still there. You could just tell he's not over it. Like, the way he's reading the text, the way he's reacting, and the, like, context that he's giving. Mans is not over it. He's simping hard for this girl still. He'll stalk her Instagram every once in a while, click through the Snapchats. He's not, he's not, he's not over it. <laughs> if I'm being totally honest, I've had a lot of time to think about everything, and I really only have time to focus on school. And I don't think our personalities click super great at this time in my life even though you're absolutely wonderful. I feel like my only compatible personality right now for me is Joss. For context, Joss is her cat. That's literally so funny! Oh my god, a cat! Her only... She can only... A cat! <laughs> that sucks. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That sucks, alright? I swear to god, people who break up over text, though, they're a different breed of person. And she definitely sprinkled that little cat fun fact in just to be like, alright. Maybe this will hurt less. But, um, Mans is just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm Mans. I'm super upset of, at life right now, but I understand and respect your priorities and why you're doing this. Kind of wish we could talk about this in person at some point. I have some questions if that's okay. Hope you're doing okay. Send Joss a kissy kiss. Man, even she knew it was cringy when she was reading it. She was like, mm, kissy kiss. <laughs> you cannot tell me you think that that was okay to send. It was all good until the ending. Come on, I almost sympathize with you, but then you said kissy kiss. I can't sympathize with someone who says kissy kiss. I kept being like, um, okay, so like, can we meet? And she would be like, yeah, sure, this week. And then she'd be like, actually, I'm busy, maybe next week. And I was really disappointed because I thought, you know, you at least owe me like an apology. Ugh. We have someone so entitled just right here. They don't technically owe you anything. You ended the relationship and you technically agreed. You were like, yes, you didn't put up a fight is what I'm saying. So can you be mad? No, but you are very entitled lady. God, she doesn't owe you anything. She didn't murder you. And she needed uh, 600 bucks. I lent her the $600. We have a simp. I think this is the second simp of the video and I'm about two minutes in. So listen, bro, I would break up with you too. You got an iPhone 5S. Man's is dressed like Steve Jobs, but has an iPhone 5S. The heck is that? I said good morning at 8.05, no response. Uh, hey baby, uh, at 1.43, no response. 11.30 PM, I said good night. Eventually on the 20th, um, the exchange is this. Uh, hey, hey, hey you, smiley face, because I'm cool. Simp, you're such a simp. You just simped for a girl who ignores you for four whole days after you texted her three different times in one day. That's a simp. My man triple texted her. Like not even like boom, boom, boom. It was boom, bop, bang. And you know what? She said nothing. She literally didn't even respond. Took her four whole days to respond. Uh, listen, I'll pay you back as soon as I can, but I can't be in a relationship with you. It weighs too hard on my conscience that I'm not a good partner. I'm sorry to do this through text, but I don't have the energy for more right now. You're free. Be happy with someone normal. We got a classic case of the person breaking up with the person, trying to kind of pull the victim card here. It weighs too hard on my conscience that I'm not a good partner. Okay.
I don't have the energy for more right now. You're free. Be happy with someone normal. I cannot stand people like this. They'd be breaking up with whoever they're in a relationship with, and then they pull this, and they're like, I'm the victim, but I'm breaking up with you. But I have a reason. It's because I'm the victim. And we all know Mans is not getting his $600 back. Can we just all agree that this man is not getting $600 of his own money back? He should have never lent that woman $600. And honestly, he probably dodged a bullet with this lady because triple text and she responded back in four days. Like, that's an L. A couple months later, I didn't get a text from her, but I got a message from her email to my phone. And it's her, and it's like, um, hey Eric, I hope you're doing well. Um, also, just to let you know, I should be able to pay you back next month. Sorry about the forever wait. My man got an email. I get emails from people I work with. I get emails from teachers. I get emails, you know, from PacSun. I don't usually get emails from people that I was once in a relationship with. She said, sorry about the forever wait. I have a feeling that he's going to be waiting for forever. Like, I really would be surprised if this man said, and then she paid me back. And I've never, I have, I've still never seen the money. We all knew it was coming. Okay, look, I saw your phone while waiting for you, and I saw her as your screensaver. I don't know what's going on anymore, but I think I have a good idea at this point. Oof. We have an initiator of the breakup here. We have an initiator. This is interesting, because it seems like she's getting cheated on. But is she? Probably. Let's be real. Does a 30-minute... Blank. No response, but he leaves me on red. So I'm like, okay, I know he's thinking of a lie. I know he's thinking of something to tell me. My man is, he is in the lab with the boys constructing a good enough lie to maybe slip by and keep her guessing. I don't know. I have no, I have no faith in this man. I feel like he's going to come back with the nastiest lie in the world. It's an app I found that changes screensavers like a slideshow. I have so many pictures I couldn't choose one. Come on, you know I wouldn't do you like that. Are we actually gonna believe this man? But if this is a real thing, um, if y'all know of the app, uh, put it in the comment section because people be getting mad about my screensavers and I just, you know, I could use it. But I don't think it's a real thing, so there's that. He kind of attacks me, and he's like, okay, but believe what you want. Did you see that, folks? Attack. I'll talk to you later. And he put a period at the end, so he was being very stern because that's not how he talks or types. Like, I just have to... Oh, my God. He used correct punctuation. I feel for this girl. I really do feel for her. She's going through it right now. Correct punctuation and all. He's still with the girl. He reaches out to me sometimes. He stalks my Instagram profile. How do you know he stalks your Instagram? Like, is there a setting that like shows you who's on your Instagram? There's something I've been wanting to tell you, but it's something that should be said in person. Are you doing anything on Saturday? And then mm -hmm. I said, would, or would you rather not see me? Noah Cyrus is over here. We, like, why would you say that? Why, you just, you're setting yourself up for failure. If you tell them that you have something important to tell them and that you need to tell them in person, blah, 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 are you free Saturday? They're not gonna wanna hang out with you. Just peel the Band-Aid off completely there. What's the point? Noah Cyrus is really just so dumb. I don't understand. And he said, I really don't wanna see you, I'm sorry. Period, you're ugly. I'm kidding. Um, but Like, come on, use your brain. They're not gonna wanna see you if you're clearly gonna break up with them. Just peel the Band-Aid off all at once. Well, goodbye, Anna. And then I said, it's something I need to say, but I'm going to tell you, just give me a few minutes. And he said, dude, really, Anna, this is ridiculous. Clearly, Anna is just not the one for him, and he knows that, and he just needs to move on. And Anna's out here really getting the grips on this man and not letting him leave. But honestly, Anna looks like she's going through it. I mean, not Anna. What's her name? Noah. Noah Cyrus. Noah Cyrus over here is going through it and she just wants to talk to him and talk about what's going on in her life and why she can't be in this relationship. But Mans is not going to give her the opportunity to do that. And I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, don't start the conversation off like that. Long story short, since you don't want the full story, is I'm, I was having a miscarriage the week we broke up. I didn't know until last Friday. And he said, okay, Anna, I'm really sorry about that. I said, I'm probably, I probably should have kept that to myself. Um, he said, no, it's okay. I'm going to go to sleep, though. And I said, that hurts. 
was not expecting that. Now I kind of feel for Noah Cyrus out here. You know, she was having a miscarriage and that's really stressful. But clearly the guy, they're just not meant to be. He doesn't seem to care. He doesn't seem to want to care. So. Like going through something like that really changes your, your head. And I think we could all agree with Anna right there. We've all been through something during a relationship or something that messes with your head and you just can't keep pushing through. Breakups are never easy, but breakup texts are even worse. That's why they're more entertaining. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smash the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And subscribe if you're new. It would mean a lot to me. We are losing subscribers on the daily. We're not gaining them. We're losing them. So please, share my channel around with your your friends and subscribe if you haven't already but yeah like i said before guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my content it genuinely means the world to me and yeah hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one adios muchachos